We're in uh, Westminster, Maryland. This is one of our new uh, bridge mount installations. And this is uh, one of our <clears throat> using the saddle mount bracket. So we'll come over and take a look at this. <clears throat> the lift here is very high. It's about a nine foot lift, a uh, really good body of water. Two streams uh, come together and there's probably about two feet of water down in here. So over here, is the uh, saddle mount. So the way this works is there are two brackets. They get attached to this concrete abutment or wall, we should say. Try to get a little better shot of this. And uh, so here's where the swivel lives. Down there's the cradle. And these are non-destructive mounts, meaning that it's a friction fit. Uh, no drilling, anything like that needs to be done. So the bottom line is the way this works, as you would have seen in the others, is that uh, this whole pipe, we slide it, spin it, drop it in. Toe check teardrop strainer down there. Right, the teardrop strainer rests on the bottom of the stream bed. Let's walk to the other end, we'll take another, a different view. So a little bit different view from the other side. So this is the cradle, right? That's the strainer. There's the suction head again. What we do is we slide it, we pivot it, we drop it straight down in. Generally, on uh, something of this length, uh, this is about a generally a one-person operation to deploy, probably two to retrieve. It does have rope? <clears throat> rope is stored in the rope bag. Uh, polypropylene, all-weather rope, uh, everything's good to go. So we'll have some pictures posted on our website showing it being tested. Uh, we expect to get a thousand gallon a minute out of it. Again, the lift here is about nine feet. The pipe is 11 feet in length.